Hello everyone, my name is Cordy, and I thought it would be fun to share my top five favorite art books with you. I'm a bit of an art book nerd. I don't really come out of an art book store or a bookstore or a comic book store without a new book about either creativity or any new art technique. So here are my favorite ones. Here is the first one that I ever bought. That was ages and ages ago. It was the one that got me into the sketchbook habit. And I'm not even sure if it's still available because it is quite old. Um, I bought it in the US when I was working there as an au pair. Let's have a quick look here in the content. It's really, it was a really cool one because it literally gave you an insight into everything, sort of from learning how to draw and then the different media and the different types of things that you could be sketching. And I've got tons of tons of notes in there as well and little highlights because way back when I was still learning English and it was a really good way to kind of get a good handle on the language. But um, I'm gonna put all of the books in the description. I'm not gonna put links because I don't know where you guys are. So it would be silly for me to just put the links from my country and then you wouldn't be able to, to find it. So I'll just put the book in the title. So this was the very first one I bought. The second one was this one. I guess this one is a little less an art book that teaches you techniques. It was really more like a, a science book, but I thought it was really, really interesting and it really changed the way I was drawing because there are exercises in there that teach you how to use that other side of your brain. Now this one is actually a new edition that I bought later on. The first edition looked a little bit different, but it's actually updated. But yeah, I can very much recommend it. It's really, really awesome to get sort of into your brain and know what, uh, what goes on in your brain when, when you draw and how you can kind of trick your brain into being a bit more visual than trying to copy the things that, uh, that are already saved in your brain as a picture, for example, when you draw a face or something, rather than looking at what you're seeing and putting that down on the page. Sometimes we just reach into our mind and use what's already there. And most of it is from our childhood, so it looks very childlike. And um, for me, that was a really big sort of breakthrough to understand, well, hold on a minute, this is how I develop my drawing skill. This is how I look at things and put down the lines and put down the shadows and the values of what I see, not what I think it looks like. So this is really brilliant, absolute recommendation. It's got lots of markings as well because there are a lot of really cool quotes in the margins. So I can very much recommend this one. The next one is more of a fun one. It also deals more with creativity rather than drawing skills. The author, Jo Bodonsky, is a fabulous lady and she came up with this concept of creating nine modern day muses and a bodyguard. To sort of guide you through creative blocks and it is such a charming book. It is an absolute joy to read and I emerged from it much more creative and much more in love with creativity and it helped me to really find the importance of creativity in general. She really made this so fun to even look at the things that are quite difficult to look at. She's got all the names and different um, abilities for, for her muses and the book is literally filled with beautiful quotes and ideas, not, not just drawing ideas, <laughs> but also writing and sort of exploring to help you through any creative blocks and just bring out that sort of feeling of, yep, yeah, I'm allowed to create and everybody literally is creative. You just have to sort of move aside the stuff that's in front of it. The I think the cover of this book looks very different now, but I can very much recommend it. If you ever felt like there was something blocking you from picking up a sketchbook, and a pencil to draw, then please do read this. It's so, so fun. Now the next one here is more of a visual inspiration. This one I flip through here and there just to get ideas. It uh, was my first sort of venture into drawing things that are not in front of me, but that are sort of more in my head and I find this book really helped me to understand how to bring those two kind of together 
to use things in real life and then turn them into something completely different in my sketchbook. I do have a video that is um, that is me drawing squiggle people on a sort of fantastical landscape and I, I used just a leaf, the photograph of a leaf, to create that kind of fantastical structure where the squiggle people can dance around on. Th this is where I kind of learned how to get into things that are not real. They're just sort of fantasy art and it's very nice and short. The chapters are nice and short and then you can hear there's lots and lots of stuff <laughs> that I underlined or highlighted. It also got beautiful, beautiful art. It's a little bit old, so I don't know if it's still available. And I think I bought it in America, so it might not even be available anywhere else. That sometimes happens. Next up, the Creative License by Danny Gregory. I think Danny Gregory also has a YouTube channel where he does sketchbooking, so I'll put his link below. He was one of my biggest inspirations to, to start sketchbooking and to sort of embrace that, that fact of creating art just for myself not having to show it off and keeping it in my book just for me. It's a fabulous book. It also deals more with the blocks and giving yourself permission, the creative license, to create. It's absolutely lovely. And uh, what I really love about it is the vi on, on the visual angle, it looks like it's handwritten and it, it pretty much feels like you are browsing through his sketchbook. And I really love that. But... There's a lot of gems in there. These are not the only books I have. I have many, many more and I bought many in between. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope some of them caught your eye and are helpful to you. Do hop on over and subscribe to my channel so we can do some more sketchbook adventures together. I can't wait. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.